All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching the World's Finest Assassin, episode seven. Uh, I don't have any, have anything to say for the start of this episode. I apologize for the episode being out a little bit later than, uh, well, obviously after the airing time. You know me; I like to bring out the episodes as soon as I can. Um, but it is a little bit later today, so I apologize about that. But uh, yeah, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now, brother. What do you mean? So he's already, like, practice, practicing medicine? What? Practicing medicine, probably not legally. Oh, so this is the people he's living with. Ah, Maha! Awesome. Uh -huh. Does he have an idea of what he wants it to be, or is he going to get loot to make it? So Tart works as his assistant, as usual, and then Ma is his sister. Is there any kind of jealousy going on between these two? Because they're like, hmm, you're like my dish, but you're like mine as well. Oh, very smart, okay. I noticed that there are three pillows on that bed. <laughs> okay, so about those three pillows. <laughs> Man is living the dream. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> I'm glad he knows this. He is such a he's such a giga brain, bro. I've acquired good pawns. I love this guy. I actually kind of want to see something go wrong for him. To be honest, he's just he always always constantly thinking ahead. Oh shit! He's creating something. Ooh, so what is he creating? Moisturizer. Moisturizer. <laughs> hey, that's gonna sell like fucking hotcakes. Damn, what was the world like before someone created moisturizer? That's crazy. It must have been dry and dusty as hell. Yeah, exactly. That's smart. You don't need to create what already exists. Create something that goes with the already existing stuff. Exactly, bro. Moisturizer is moisturizer. This whore's child. Jeez. 200 bottles. You could make 200 bottles and just make them the most expensive things on earth. Nobody else can make it. Ooh. Ah, so it can't be produced by anyone else. What exactly is it that he needs? Leshin? Oh. Yeah, bro, you're gonna make a fucking conglomerate for the show, I swear. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan, as per usual. <laughs> you don't need to use much, you need to use like twice a day. Oh, I just realized that's awesome that she's working here too. Oh, oh it's been six months. We are skipping, we are constantly skipping every episode. All according to plan. <laughs> oh, ah, she hired, he hired them all. That's awesome. Everybody's a pawn, but he also likes to help these people out. Oh, shit, someone's coming after Lou. Not gonna happen. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Did she kill it? Oh, nice. <laughs> Holy shit. These girls, man. Oh, I don't want to see this. Oh, ah. Bro, my has <laughs> very much gained the skills of an assassin in this time. Thirty years earlier. Oh, we get another. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> what the fuck is the goddess doing? <laughs> what the hell is this? This is weird as hell. Okay, let's see what this guy turned into. How did you turn into that, bro? Yeah, literally. Oh, that's true, yeah. Okay, time to see how these two... Oh, okay, so they're... I, just, I wanted to see what they were like kind of together when Lou wasn't around, but I'm glad they, they seem to still be very friendly with each other. Is this Daya? Oh my god, it's been a while. What is it? Gravity reversal, ah. Very cool. Oh, she never tried chocolate? Oh, it's nice that he still gets to see Daya. Everything is just going so right in this anime. Obviously, all according to his plan. But, like... God, something needs to go wrong at some point, I think. I mean, it doesn't, but... You know, you'd expect it to. Oh, did he have a slightly different shade of uh, dark hair color when he went to see Daya? I didn't even notice. What's what's wrong with him? Uh, yeah, that's what you do in bed. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, he had a wet dream. <laughs> I've never seen him like this. <laughs> um, how are you going to help him? <laughs> I mean, if they're offering themselves to you, like, you, you, you may as well. <laughs> oh, this guy. All right, so that was the world's finest assassin gets reincarnated as a an arist aristocrat. Uh, I don't usually say the full name, but I felt like doing it just there. Um, yeah, episode seven. Uh, really good episode. It was nice to see everything kind of coming together. Obviously, we are continuing kind of going forward at like an alarming pace, not like a ridiculous pace where it doesn't doesn't really make sense and it flows too quickly, but it's at a good pace, uh, not dragging on certain things. And um, yeah, it's I just like where it's going. It's shown kind of all the elements of making him a proper assassin that doesn't just involve killing. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool to see kind of as him as he grows up and grows his business, grows his assassin techniques, also along with Tart and um, Maha, and as well as uh, we got to see Daya this episode, was, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, I love the end part where she's like, he's always like. Oh, he's so serious and so calm and always thinking 10 steps ahead, but like the Empire, which is like something he didn't consider would happen, um, obviously being in a teenager's body. Um, but yeah, overall, really good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an SSD a day, and peace out.